Sharks, snakes, and lemurs? Heck, I wouldn't be surprised if one of them had a unicorn stashed away they're looking to sell for just under a cool million dollars. Way back when this guy and Keanu Reeves were making movies like Johnny Mnemonic, Ice-T was grabbing headlines all over the country. Whether it be for his film career, his controversial rap albums, or his tendency to purchase some of nature's greatest oceanic predators to live in his $1.2 million home. During the height of his power, before Law & Order, the musician and actor put large sums of money into renovating his Hollywood house. In 1994, Ice-T dropped 250 grand on a new recording studio within his home. The studio would contain four soundproof rooms and a nice piece of room decor in the form of an 8 foot by 3 foot baby shark tank. Ice-T and his family have always loved ocean creatures, with frequent Bahamian vacations and a new living coral tank in his house. Given that the baby sharks in 1994 are probably much too large to live in his recording studio anymore. Former reality TV star Kirstie Alley let the world know of a secret collection she had back in 2014. Some people like to collect stamps or even sports cars, but this former actress and Jenny Craig spokesperson had a collection of 14 ring-tailed lemurs. We're unsure if they like to move it, move it, but they definitely cost her a pretty penny. While her home may not be as wild as you would think, given that lemurs are surprisingly calm animals, they do have a lifespan of 30 years. Meaning that one lemur is a huge commitment and responsibility, never mind more than a dozen. On top of food and medical costs, Allie also hired two full-time zookeepers to take care of her precious animals, but overall it costs her about $40,000 per year just to maintain them. Nicolas Cage has always been a man of unique taste. If you thought Ice-T's sharks were wild, Nick Cage just saw his shark and raised it by going all in. Not only has Nick Cage owned one certified king of the ocean, but he's also dabbled in other rare pets as well. First, he spent about $150,000 on an octopus. Somehow, he claims this octopus helped his acting career, which makes me think this octopus was really an expensive acting coach before Nick Cage's role in The Wicker Man. On top of his octopus, Cage also purchased two deadly king cobras by the names of Moby and Sheba. These deadly twins cost Cage the low price of $276,000. Supposedly, Cage even had to carry anti-venom on him at all times in case one of his beloved cobras got a little too friendly. After filing for bankruptcy, however, Cage had to cut back on his expensive pet project. Perhaps someone should recommend like a goldfish or something so he can build his way back up. The Spanish surrealist painter Salvador Dali is needless to say an eccentric character in the pages of history. He passed away in the late 80s, but not before a series of odd behaviors that at the time was confusing to say the least. First of all, he was a fan of exotic pets before it was cool, and owned a pet ocelot named Babu. The medium spotted jungle cat was one of Dali's pride and joys. On top of the ocelot, there was a rumor that Salvador Dali owned his own anteater. It's unclear, but the signs point to this being false, and Dali simply took the anteater for a walk and photo op. Which is honestly so much stranger than him just outright owning an anteater. Like, I have so many more questions now than I did before I found this out. Do you by chance have an extra $400 just sitting in your pocket at this very moment in time? Well then you, my friend, could be the proud new owner of your very own giant tortoise. Back in 2010, actor Leonardo DiCaprio bought a seven-year-old giant tortoise. The environmentally conscious actor purchased the exotic animal from a reptile foundation and asked for the biggest one they had. The animal may be the cheapest celebrity exotic pet ever purchased, but he weighed 38 pounds at the time, and could grow to be over 200 throughout his 80-year lifespan. I imagine DiCaprio was just trying to avoid another I'll never let go situation, given that his new friend can float and doesn't need to take up any space on the door. Have you ever had your own bring your pet to work day? That's when you ask your boss if you can bring your exotic cockatoo to the office. They then say no, but you do it anyway. That's what we call the CeeLo Green strategy. Back in 2012, when the singer-songwriter was serving as a judge on The Voice, he was asked repeatedly not to bring animals to the set. He started with a cat named Perfect, which became The Voice mascot, and was eventually replaced by Lady, a pink Malukan cockatoo. It looked extravagant, and CeeLo was just trying his absolute hardest to appear as a Bond villain when his chair turned around. I always thought that joke in The Hangover really was just a joke, but it turns out former boxing champ Mike Tyson really does own several tigers. While in prison, Tyson spoke to his car dealer, who would often trade cars for rare animals. And this is where this fantastic idea came from. Mike Tyson decided to buy three white baby Bengal tigers, for reportedly around $70,000 at the time. The upkeep and food for the tigers cost the former heavyweight boxing champ over $210,000 per year. I know they say dogs are a man's best friend, but tigers have definitely got to be up there, since Tyson raised them from cubs and treats them like his children. 
I'm just not even gonna do it. Look, it's impossible not to make a Twilight joke here, so just bear with me. <clears throat> Guess someone should have asked her opinion because she's clearly Team Jacob. Ugh. In the late 2000s, actress Kristen Stewart became the owner of a wolf-dog hybrid and named it the totally not Jacob name of Jack. She claims that though he may look scary on account of, you know, being a wolf, he is actually a really sweet animal. Today, Jack the Wolf is worth about $3.1 million. Where exactly did she get Jack? Well, her mother, who owns four wolves of her own, gifted Jack to her daughter for her 24th birthday. I got a vacuum for mine, but I guess a wolf would have been cool too. Actress Nicole Kidman and country music star Keith Urban are one of the more well-known successful celebrity couples. They were married in 2006 and have two children as well as a farm in Tennessee, home to several alpacas. An alpaca is said to cost anywhere between $3,000 and $10,000. And the family of Keith Urban and Nicole Kidman owns six of them. Along with a bunny and some fish, this household is definitely comprised of animal lovers. It is also said that the cost to own an alpaca after their purchase can range anywhere from a couple hundreds of dollars all the way up to 50 grand per year. That makes owning six alpacas a huge commitment, but I would say the joint income of a very successful musician and a very successful actress can handle the responsibility. Actress Melanie Griffith comes from a family whose history involves big cats. One day her mother, actress Tippi Hedren, came home with a new furry friend named Neil. She got the animal for research purposes, as she was going to star in a film involving the regal animals. Neil became a family staple, starring in numerous family photos, but overall Griffith and Hedren have since spoken out against owning lions as pets. Instead, the two started a wildlife sanctuary in California for big cats and have become huge advocates for wildlife preservation. So while they are definitely helping the world's creatures, they now have access to the viewing of even more lions than they could have dreamed. Everyone knows Vanilla Ice. He's the Elvis Presley of our generation. Okay, I just made that up, but trust me, it's an apt comparison. Not on their music styles or their legacy, but both icons each owned their very own kangaroo. The king of rock and roll was given his as a gift and eventually donated it to a zoo. Vanilla Ice, however, has a famous pet wallaroo named Bucky, who has even escaped before and gone on a hopping spree. Some sources say he bought Bucky for over $2,000, but he definitely had to pay a $220 fine when his animal owning permits expired. Needless to say, on top of feeding costs, Bucky is an extremely expensive exotic friend. Let's all be real though, a kangaroo is probably in the top 10 of all of our dream pets lists. Which exotic animal would you have as a pet? In fact, if you're walking around with an extra $8,500, you could very soon be the proud owner of your own two-toed baby sloth. No? Perhaps an octopus or a cobra is more your speed? <laughs>